good morning students how are you all <coughs> today uh, we are going to talk about uh, languages for cloud computing <coughs> uh, it is mentioned in the syllabus of uh, cloud computing <coughs> so languages uh, can be java php python and asp.net see cloud computing is the provision of computing services uh, such as uh, servers storage databases networks software analysis intelligence and more over the internet to deliver faster innovation flexible resources and economics of scale it consists of several technologies that currently have a great impact on the employability of software developers the cloud can be exploited in countless ways software as a service platform as a service or infrastructure as a service among others cloud computing has meant a shift from the traditional way technology resources are used some of its advantages have to do with lower cost increased speed globe scale high productivity and enhanced security so the following cloud computing uh, so the follow the following cloud programming languages will help you stand out in the field of cloud programming first java <coughs> See, uh, Java is not only a general purpose programming language as it has also positioned itself in cloud computing. <clears throat> its popularity among developers is overwhelming as it is used by more than 10 million programmers and executed in more than 15 billion terminals worldwide. Okay, so what are the advantages? <clears throat> It is easy to learn. It is designed to be used without complications. It is object oriented to create modular programs and reusable codes. It is platform independent so it can be easily moved from one computer system to another. See Java is object oriented programming language. Okay, because uh, it has a, a first class, first class, second object, third uh, data abstraction and encapsulation data abstraction and encapsulation inheritance polymorphism dynamic binding message communication etc et <coughs> so why to learn java programming java is a must for students and working professionals to become a great software engineering a great software engineer especially when they are working in software development domain okay so uh, if it if we talk about uh, key advantages of uh, learning java programming first object oriented in java everything is an object java can be easily extended since it is based on the object model second platform independent unlike many other programming languages including c and c++ when java is compiled it is not compiled into platform specific machine rather rather it uh, into a platform independent byte code this byte code is distributed over the web and interpreted by the jvm jvm stands for java virtual machine on whichever platform it is being run on next simple java is uh, java is designed to be easy to learn if you understand the basic concept of object oriented programming java it would be easy to master Secure. With Java's secure feature, it enables to develop virus-free, tamper-free systems. Authentication techniques are based on public key encryption. Next, architecture neutral. Java compiler generates an architecture neutral object file format which makes the compiled code executable on many processors with the presence of Java runtime system. Next, portable. Being architecture neutral and having no implementation dependent aspects of the specification makes Java portable. The compiler in Java is written in ANSI C with a clean portability boundary, which is a POXIX subset, POXIX subset. Next, robust. Java makes an effort to eliminate error prone situations by emphasizing mainly on compile time error checking and runtime checking. See uh, how to make program in Java. Okay, first of all, we have to define class. Next, public static void main string args. Next, system dot out dot println. We have to print any messages. Okay. <coughs> See uh, if we talk about uh, 
if we talk about uh, applications of java multi threaded okay in high performance distributed dynamic etc okay these are the applications these are the applications of java okay <laughs> next if you talk about uh, java program structure okay it has a documentation section okay that is suggested package statement that is optional import statement that is optional interface statement that is optional class definition optional and main method class and main method definition essential See, uh, if we talk about uh, Java environment, Java environment includes a large number of development tools, hundreds of classes and methods. <coughs> the development tools are part of the system known as Java Development Kit, and the classes and methods are part of Java Standard Library, also known as the Application Programming Interface. Okay, that is known as API. If we talk about Java Development Kit, the Java Development Kit comes with a collection of tools that are used for developing and running Java programs. Okay, it includes Applet Viewer for viewing Java applets, Java C, Java Compiler, Java, Java Interpreter, Java P, Java Disassembler, Java H for C header files, Java DOC for creating HTML documents, JDB, Java Debuggers. Okay. <coughs> Next, uh, if we talk about uh, uh, API application programming interface, the Java standard library uh, or API includes hundreds of classes and methods grouped into several functional packages, okay, such as uh, first uh, language support package. It's a collection of classes and methods required for implementing basic features of Java. Next, utility package. A collection of classes to provide utility functions such as date and time functions. Next, input output package. A collection of classes required for input output manipulation. Next, networking package. A collection of classes for communicating with other computers via internet. Next, ART package. <coughs> Uh, the abstract window toolkit package contains classes that implements platform independent graphical user interface GUI. Next, applet package. This includes a set of classes that allows us to create Java applets. Okay, the use of these library classes will become evident when we start developing Java program. So, friend. Uh, this is all about uh, languages for uh, cloud computing and first of all we uh, we discussed about java okay and uh, <coughs> once again uh, we can go through it that uh, java is object oriented programming language okay and if we talk about the concept of object oriented programming okay it has class object data abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism dynamic binding, message communication, etc. If you talk about applications of uh, object-oriented programming, uh, <coughs> if you talk about applications of object-oriented programming, real-time system, simulation and modeling, object-oriented databases, hypertext, hypermedia and expert text, AI and expert system, neural network and parallel programming, diffusion support and office automation system, okay, etc. If we talk about uh, benefits of object-oriented object programming, through inheritance we can eliminate redundancy code and extend the use of existing classes. Okay. Next, it is possible to have multiple objects to coexist without any interference. Okay. It is easy to partition the work in a project based on objects. Object-oriented system can be easily upgraded from a small to large system. Software complexity can be easily managed. So, uh, 
so friends uh, here we uh, discussed uh, about java okay languages for uh, cloud computing okay <coughs> now you can uh, you can pay attention here that uh, how to write uh, how to write a code okay first of all we have to define class then man method and how to print the statement with the help of system dot out dot print okay <coughs> so this is all about languages uh, for cloud computing okay i hope you must have got knowledge thank you thank you very much